They came with their dogs and they came with their signs, all in support of Shadow. The Alaskan Malamute has spent 15 months in the pound after she was accused of biting a woman on the leg. Shadow's owners and supporters gathered outside the regional district of the Central Okanagan as they attempted to interrupt the Monday meeting and tell board members exactly what they thought about Shadow's incarceration. I think the whole situation is just unfortunate. And I, I can only feel for a big dog being in a small cage for that long, and I feel so, so sorry for the owners. I think it's wrong what's being done. Something needs to be done about it. We're giving support to the family because they're, what they're doing is wrong. However, the regional district issued a statement claiming they had offered the Madsons a chance to get Shadow back, but under revised conditions. Uh, there were so many more conditions to that. Uh, the big ones were that we um, could not go to court anymore, uh, that we could not lay claim to them, and the biggest one was that we weren't allowed to talk to you guys anymore. No, so they took the muzzle off a shadow and put it on us, as well as they required us to have an admission of guilt. Despite a sign on the door claiming shadow would not be a subject on the agenda, the rally headed inside. Uh, at this point, the case is before the courts, and it wouldn't be appropriate for the board to entertain public discussion. You're most welcome to protest politely and quietly, as you exactly have been doing, but we won't be able to acknowledge you in a formal way tonight. The RDCO did acknowledge they would grant the Madsons a meeting to discuss matters that were not before the court. If, if a private meeting is what it takes, we've made our public presence. They know we're here. They know we're not going away. The Madsons also plan to drop a petition off at the RDCO with over 6,000 signatures on it. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.